You can see the lifeboats around the ship, and there we go. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are playing Tiny Sailor's World again. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so the reason I'm back is because they've actually added an Oceanos into the game. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. So here we go, here's the Oceanos, and let's go ahead and spawn it in. So it's spawning now. And let's take a look. Alright, so here we are with the Oceanos. And as you can see, it's looking really nice here. Unfortunately, it does have some inaccuracies to it. Like, this ship has a Bulbous Bow. Oceanos never, ever had a Bulbous Bow. I actually don't know where that misconception came from. Uh, but some people do believe it had a Bulbous Bow and it actually didn't. So, other than that, it is looking nice. Um, there are some little tiny things, but I'm not going to really comment on them because they're too small to really mention. But, um, yeah, so here we are in the game. Now, just a word to the developers if they're watching this video. Um, I really recommend cleaning up the screen here. I know there's a, a way to get rid of the, uh, HUD, but, um, it pretty much gets rid of some of the basic things that you do need. Um, so I would really recommend that. But we're gonna go ahead and remove the HUD so we don't have all of this text in the way here. So right now the plan is to really just get ourselves out to sea and then we're going to go ahead and sink it because with these ships uh, that have their own custom sinkings, it's really cool to see how they've uh, modeled it or animated it in game. So that's going to be cool to see. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and basically get on course here. It looks like we have some lightning, some thunder. We're heading into a storm, which is very Oceanos, because they did go into a storm before she went down. All right, it looks like we have a wonderful sunrise there. We're heading out to some open waters now, which is really nice. Uh, we're still in shallow water, but um, definitely more open. You can see that there's a lot more space. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn left, because uh, we might have some more open ocean there. As you can see, there's an airplane in the air right there. That's pretty cool. Looks like an A318. Alright, I think we are far enough out. I'm gonna go ahead and press X on the keyboard and that'll start the sinking. So, uh, there we go. I've pressed X and yep, we are beginning to sink here. So, let's take a look at how this goes. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be just like how the ship actually sank. Oh, there's people jumping overboard. We've got a flare being launched, which isn't totally accurate. Um, one thing to note, uh, these lifeboats, uh, some older photos depict them being orange, but when she went down, they were actually white with the inside being painted orange. Um, but yeah. Alright, we're starting to list over to our starboard side here, as you can see. Portholes are starting to slip under the water there. Uh, gradual sinking, of course. We are going down. There's something blue in the water. What is that? Is that a suitcase? That's really cool. We got a little suitcase in the water. Pretty cool. Very nicely done there. There's a lot of people slipping on the decks down here. We got a lot of people just standing on the decks, which is pretty accurate because uh, as the helicopters were rescuing, they were lifting the passengers from the stern and the bow, so there'd be groups of people on the one side, on the port side, trying to be rescued. Don't think anyone would be down in these lower portions, but I won't really you know, take anything away from that. The bow is going under. You can see some really cool splash effects going on there. That is really nice. There we go. We got some more, uh, I don't know if that's air escaping the vessel or those are just, um, random splashing effects. But whatever it is, it is really cool. I'm liking this little simulation they have here. Of course, I have the game muted because there's a lot of copywritten audio here, so I can't really play it. Um, but anyways, it looks like it's starting to thunderstorm and rain here. Um, but as you can see, the ship's starting to really tilt over. There goes the bridge. The power is beginning to die. As you can see, it's flickering there. Um, unfortunately, uh, it doesn't actually have the lights going out right before the sinking begins. Um, or right after the sinking starts. There we go. You can see just dropping into the water down. That This is really accurate here. You can see the stern going right into the air. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off the ship there, and as you can see, it kind of uh, lurched back a little bit because we jumped off, but yeah, that looks really nice. That's a really, really nice uh, sinking simulation that they have here. Uh, I'm just wondering if it's gonna go under or not because um, it's kind of just poised here. Alright, it's starting to really go down now, as you can see there, and really just the fantail is sticking out. There's a bit of... Uh, whatever it is, splashing or uh, air escaping the ship kind of cool effects there. 
Um, but as you can see, it's, uh, it's about to drop under now. And there's the very end of the stern there, just slowly going under the water, taking the Greek flag with it there. And it is gone. Really, only the flag is out. And there we go. So let's go ahead and follow it to the bottom now. And wow. That is very cool. We have boilers coming out of the ship. Now, that's not completely accurate. But um, the funnel just came out of the ship. All right, here we go. That was really cool. We saw all those pieces of debris coming off of the ship. Now, it should lie on its side, which it unfortunately didn't. But what's actually really cool here is um, you actually have the funnel coming off of the ship there, which is accurate to the wreck site because the funnel did collapse off of the ship, at least the outside of the funnel did. But now that we've seen that, we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and, and sink the Titanic. Uh, we're going to sail it out here and sink it and see what it looks like because with those boilers and stuff coming out, I'm wondering if the ship actually breaks in two. And if it doesn't, it'll still be cool to see all of that stuff falling off the ship. Alright, so I believe the Titanic might be at port two, but what's really cool is you have all of this uh, Christmas decor that's out now, so that's pretty cool. Alright, here it is. Here's Titanic. It's probably the most popular ship in the game, so let's go ahead and spawn it in. And, um... What was that? Us right there? No, that looks to be someone else. That's pretty cool. All right, here we have the Titanic here, and we're going to go ahead, sail it out to deeper water, and sink it, and see how accurate the sinking is in Tiny Sailor's World. All right, we are now sinking, so the ship will stop in any moment here, and then it'll begin sinking. All right, we have finally stopped, and I do believe that the sinking has begun here. Um, I don't know what's happening exactly. Uh, it does look like we do have a forward list. Um, and we are just gonna see what happens. Alright, so it's been a little bit, and it's starting to snow, and the, uh, waves are starting to kick up here. But, uh, a lot of people are out on the decks now, which is a clear sign that the ship is going to start sinking. Uh, however, we have lost the lifeboats that are on the deck, which is interesting. Um, it looks like there's another ship passing by. It looks like an AI ship for sure, since there's no one sitting on it. But, um, uh, there we go. Looks like it is not giving a care in the world to us right now, uh, but I do believe we are beginning to sink uh, for sure. Alright, so it's been a few minutes and you can clearly tell that the ship is going down by the bow. Um, each wave that kind of rolls onto the side of the hull here, uh, it actually gets higher and as you can see now these waves are starting to reach the E-deck portholes. Oh, there we go. Now the waves have died down so it's a little more accurate here. You can also start to see the props starting to come out of the water there just a little bit. But very cool stuff. I really like how they're animating the sinking in this game. Alright, there we go. A flare is being launched from the bridge and as you can see the first lifeboat is being lowered there. And what's really cool right now is I actually sent out a message in the chat of the game saying that I was thinking there's actually a few fans in the game that know me and they're coming to the rescue in Carpathia's so that'll be cool to see hopefully they make it before the ship goes down so it really is a race against time now all right it looks like there's a ship stopping by here I don't know if this is AI or not um but it just kind of stopped here um maybe it's just the game's way of um saying I'm here to help and it looks like this ship is the governor of Europa and yes this is a player so whoever has just arrived on scene thank you for coming uh, because we need help getting all of these uh, passengers round up looking down from the bridge you can see the water is starting to flood onto the well deck in the forecastle and you can see some splash effects just uh, escaping out of the um, the number two hold I believe it is and as you can see, the water's starting to make its way up the forecastle now. As you can see, all three props are out of the water, and a lifeboat is attempting to push the ship. And the power is starting to die as well as you just see there. Yep, there you go. Power is beginning to fail. And just in any moment, there you go. The water is now starting to make its way onto the bridge and up the boat deck. So the end is near for sure. As you can see, Titanic has survived through the night, still sinking of course. And there goes the funnel, it is collapsing down there. Very cool that that's animated. And we are beginning to plunge rapidly now. You can see the lifeboats around the ship, and there we go, an explosive breakup. 
the ship has split in two, and I'm assuming the bow has just gone down. And that's a really cool shot there. The stern going vertical as that other ship sits in the background and helplessly watches. Literally just the very end of the ship going down, and it's gone right to the bottom. Now, as we follow the stern down, you can see those boilers have broken loose and are heading to the bottom. And there is the stern right there. Really cool. And there's the bow as well. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you next time guys. Goodbye. <laughs>